Let's assume that, hypothetically, you are a risk-inverse investor. You don't like taking huge gambles on naked call or put options. But there is a speculation that you are feeling pretty confident about. You know there's a stock out there that you think its price is probably going to rise. But perhaps you don't think it's going to rise by a huge amount. Well, one way you could capitalize on this opinion is that you could enter into a bull put spread. And let's dive right into how that works. But first, let's talk about how does a put option function? A put option is a financial contract that gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to sell an underlying asset at a predetermined price, which we'll call the strike price, on or before a specific date. Now, what if instead of buying a put option, I sold a put option? That means that I will receive some money up front, but now someone else has the right to sell me the asset at a specific price. So I get some money up front, which is nice, but now I have this large risk that this stock price or this assets price will fall a lot and I will lose a ton of money. So let's look at the potential profit or loss profile of if I sell a put option. If we are feeling bullish, we might short or sell a put option with a strike price of $60. This means that we have sold someone else the right to sell us a stock for $60, regardless of what the stock price actually ends up being. So we would be more inclined to take on this position if we thought that the stock price was going to rise or at the very least not fall. But we're exposed to a tremendous amount of risk should the actual stock price fall substantially. Now to take on that risk, the other party's going to have to pay us a premium. So we're gonna receive a $6 premium up front to take on this risk. Now we can see in this table on the bottom left the various profits or losses we might incur based on the end result of the stock price. Now, the worst possible outcome for us is if the stock actually ends up at $0. So if the stock is $0, then that means that the other party can now sell us something for $60 that is worthless. That is a $60 loss for us. However, they did pay us that $6 premium up front, and therefore our total profit is going to be a loss of $54. This is our worst possible outcome, so our downside is somewhat limited, although still substantial. However, if the stock price is $50, that means they can sell us something for $50, or for $60, that's only worth $50. That's a $10 loss to us. Again, we had our premium of $6, which offsets that loss, so really we're only out $4. Now, our exact point of a break even is when the stock price is at $54, because that means the counterparty can gain $6 from us at the exercise. However, we gained $6 from them at the initiation of the contract due to the premium, which perfectly offsets and leaves us with a profit of $0. And then once we get up to $60, we basically will not have this contract exercised against us at all. So that exercising of the option value in that max um, strike price minus stock price or zero column will just be zero from any value of 60 or above. And we will always have received our $6 premium. So our max profit will be reached at $60 and at any higher price, we'll just profit six bucks. And so our max profit is $6. So our upside is limited as well on this short put. What is a bull put spread? A bull put spread is an options trading strategy that involves selling a put option with a higher strike price while simultaneously buying a put option with a lower strike price. Both of these options need to have the same underlying asset and the same expiration date. So these options will by and large offset one another. Now who would be interested in a bull put spread? Well, it would be someone who has a moderately bullish outlook. They might think that the price of a stock is going to rise, but perhaps it's not going to rise by all that much. They may also be a more risk averse investor because with bull put spreads, they have limited profit potential, 
but at the benefit of limited risk. Now let's talk about how we could execute a bull put spread. The first step in executing a bull put spread is to sell or short a put option with a higher strike price. Now this is exactly the same as the example we looked at a few minutes ago. We're gonna assume we're selling a put option with a strike price of $60, and we receive a $6 premium for doing so and our profit profile for that position is shown in the graph on the right. The second step is to purchase or go long a put with a lower strike price. And in this example, we'll assume that the put that we are going long has a strike price of $50, but we have to pay a $3 premium to receive that option. Now we can see our payoff profile in the rightmost column of the table, which is telling us that our maximum profit can be had when the stock price is $0. In that case, we're selling something for $50 that's actually worth $0, which is a $50 gain to us. However, we have to offset the $3 premium we paid for the option originally, and our total profit's $47. So we have a large but limited potential upside should the stock price fall substantially. And then you can see that the most we can ever lose is just $3 or $3 premium on the long put because um, once the stock price hits 50, this put option is no longer exercisable. And then any, any value above 50, um, our put will just have lost us $3. So it works just the opposite of the short put that we had talked about previously. And finally, the bull put spread profit is just the combination of the two different profits or losses of both of these option positions offsetting one another. So if we look at the bottom table on the rightmost column, we can put see our bull put spread profit. So if we look at the case where the stock price is $100, we'll see that we had initially received the $6 from selling the uh, higher exercise price put, but we paid $3 in order to go long on the lower strike price put, and then we're just offsetting and we are up $3. We are actually up $3 all the way until the stock price hits $60. So let's assume in a case where the stock price is about $57. If I have a moderately bullish outlook, I think the price might rise, but only by a little bit. I might wager that, hey, maybe this price goes from 57 to 60. I'm up three bucks. It doesn't really matter that much if the price goes beyond that, or I'm not that concerned about that because I don't think the price is gonna go that far beyond 60 then I'm kind of fine with not just going with the short put and making a bit more because I can actually limit my downside should the price stock price fall a lot. So if all I had done was shorted that put, that 60 put, I could have potentially lost $54 if the stock price went all the way to zero. But because now I'm long the 50 put, I would actually gain $47 from the 50 put that I was long, and my total loss would only be $7. So this is almost like buying insurance instead of just shorting a put outright. So you can see that compared to the orange short put profit line, the green bull put spread profit line, it limits my upside because it's lower than the orange line should the price increase, the stock price increase. However, it is much higher than the blue or the orange line should the stock price significantly decrease. So it is lower risk, but lower reward. I do appreciate you staying until the end of my video. Please feel free to check out rhinoconnellfinance.com for help with any finance tutoring or financial modeling that you may need. And check out my other videos on options here and here.